Oh my god, he just got a killer deal on that. I won't even say. I'll ask him if it's okay if I say, but jeez, that's probably the best deal of the entire thing. All right, guys, I got the green light to tell you guys what he paid for this. It's got the Max 6 in it. It's got the big batteries in it. Um, he paid $300 for this X-Max, guys, and it came with the brute body. came with all this in here. Unfreaking real. That sucks. I didn't even ask. I just walked right past it. I, I assumed that it was going to be a lot more than that, but wow, that's a crazy deal, guys. A crazy deal. Going through all the stuff he got with this X Max. He has a fast Eddie bearing kit, brand new. He's got all different types of hop up parts. Jeez. Ring pinion. He's got a servo in there. He's got a diff. Dang it, guys. I totally passed that up. That is, he, he said it. As soon as he came back here, he said, I got a Mark Santa Maria deal on this one. And I knew that he got it for super cheap. And he did. Dang, I passed that one up. I, I messed up, guys. This, this video is going to be called Swap Meet Fail. I straight up walked past this thing and it was the deal of the century. Ah, Guys, I'm, I'm in envy right now. That's insane. Guys, that X-Max, I'm like really big time regretting not asking what they wanted for the X-Max. He got all that for 300. That's exactly what I wanted to spend on the X-Max. Oh, I needed that project. Bad guys, bad. Guys, we're, we're talking right now about this thing. They're saying it's going to be good for the channel. I'm saying it's not going to be good for the channel, but you know how that works. Whenever you're trying to work a deal, you can't let them know that you want the damn thing. Even though they're standing right next to me right now when I said that. Dang it! Oh, guys, that whole deal frustrated me. All right, sorry. What's up, man? Checking out his stuff. Do what? Doing good, man. How are you? A beautiful stampede. These are great cars for your... Uh, your younger ones don't want to get an RC car. Looks like a granted 4x4. Let me go around these gentlemen. Oh look. Oh he's got a he's got a speed meter GPS thing. Looks like a 6S ESE, some bodies. Shockwave, nice. Some cool stuff. <laughs> Giving Jacob a shout out. What's up Jacob? How's it going, bud? Checking out some of his stuff over here. He's got he's got a bandit. It looks like a slash four-wheel drive. This is an LCG four-wheel drive. Very, very nice. Oh man, that's a sweet poppet. My boys love those. That one's freaking huge. <laughs> Jeez, that thing is. And wait, is that Among Us? Nice, super cool, bud. All right, I was I was called over. I was called over. I don't know what I'm called over for. Apparently, I'm gonna be checking something out here in a second. See, this is the guy that's stealing all my deals. I gotta not tell him I'm going anywhere. Let's see what we got. What's up, bud? Look at this car. Beautiful. It's got interior, everything. I think he said he was going to give it to me for 20 bucks, which is really, really nice of him to do. No, I'm just joking. I don't know, guys. I need an Axial. I don't have one yet. It looks pretty sick. <laughs> All right, guys. I got to shoot this thing. I saw this out the corner of my eye. Look at this. I know. I'm, I don't like T-Maxes. I don't like them. But look at it. It's brand spanking new. The way you can tell the new T-Maxes versus the old T-Maxes, all the newer stuff has the, the gray, the gray plastics. Um, this one's relatively new because it has gray plastic, but see this blue bar here means that means it used blue crystals, which means it is a little bit older because they don't do crystals anymore. They do 2.4. So if I had to date this thing, this one was probably maybe a 20, maybe a 2012, 20, no, maybe, maybe, maybe 10, 20, 2010, maybe. I don't know when they, they came out with the 2.4, but that's how another reason way you can tell that it's a little bit older, but still a beautiful car. Looks brand spanking new. I think that would be a fun one to do, especially since I'm going to hop back in Nitro really soon. Here's another T-Max. See how this one has all the black plastics? This is how you can tell that it's a little bit on the older side. Also, on T-Maxes, you can kind of tell, but the the 2.5 and the older 3.3s have a shorter chassis, where the, the newer 3.3s have a longer chassis. This one is a, an older one. It looks like a classic chassis, but either way, beautiful, beautiful car. Oh, I love these. Oh man, someone pulled up the felony. Look at this thing. Beautiful, beautiful felony. It's got a beautiful paint job. Oh man, you can hear those fans in there. I don't have felony. I have an infraction, but no felony. Beautiful car. Beautiful car. Very nice. This guy over here is ripping a super Baja Ray. Nice trucks. Such a beast. I've never had a super Baja Ray. I've had a, a Baja Ray. 
Not a Super Baja Ray, but it, it you know it drives just like just like a Traxxas UDR. Like exactly like Traxxas UDR. Good looking trucks. A lot of body sway runs. Oh man, that's pretty cool. Check this out guys. He's got a he's got the murder nova, but he's got it signed all by the street outlaws, guys. There's Murder Nova signing it right there. Oh, it looks like Kamikaze, Dominator. Dang, he's got everybody. Monza, yep. farm Chuck. truck. Chuck is back there. Man, that is freaking sweet. Because they were at they were at one of our drag races, right? Is that what happened? Yeah, they're in Nancy right now. Oh, sweet, man. That is that's well, pretty they were last night. That's pretty free. There's there's Daddy Dave in the front. Oh man, that's that's, that's pretty sweet. Look at this guy. This is like a different style Euro truck. Still based on the same chassis, the TT01E, but it's got a different body. I forgot what they call this body. I think they call it like a, a Fox body, maybe? I don't know. But man, these things are sick. I don't have this one yet. I have the uh, regular Euro truck, but nothing like that. That's pretty sick. Tear a body back here. More stuff. Guys, look at this. The old Nitro Fortec. I've, I've rebuilt one of these on the channel before, and this guy actually saw my rebuild on channel, which is kind of cool. I have one already at the house kind of in the same condition. These are fun rebuilds and the biggest hurdle, what's up man? The biggest hurdle with doing these kind of rebuilds is getting the parts for them because yeah, the only way you can get them is on eBay. But beautiful car, you can't get you can't get the parts on uh, at Traxxas anymore. A lot of them are discontinued. That looks like a fun rebuild. I actually like it when it looks extra dirty like that. I think they're even more rewarding when you rebuild them. But uh, I've already done one. Looks fun though. Oh, he's ripping the infrac. So I have one of these. I just haven't opened it out of the box yet, but I have one. That's a cool looking color too. I have the white and silver one. So usually this is what happens at the end of these swap meets. People start driving the cars they bought or the cars that they brought just to drive. Oh, super cool car. These are cool. Like I haven't really shot these, but Sen used to make cars. I've never had a Sen racing car, but look, they're very clean, super clean. And these look in like great condition. These look like they've never even been ran. Maybe just taken out of the box. Let me know in the, in the comments. Does anyone else own a Sen? I know they made a couple of like really big monster trucks. Nitro ones. But another car that I don't have. That you don't see very often. But super freaking cool. Alright guys. I think this thing is rounding out. We've been out here for a couple hours now. All the good stuff is pretty much gone. But this is also a crucial time where people are willing to take a little bit less. I passed up on both the X-Maxes that I wanted. I thought that would have been a cool project, an X-Max project, but we passed up on them and someone else bought them. So it looks like there's more, more opportunities here, more different projects, but I need a project on the trip that I'm about to take. So we're still looking, keeping our eyes open. All right, we're in the hobby shop now, guys. We got the big cars here in the back. Here's the 5T. I have one of these in the storage unit. I gotta open one up. I gotta, I gotta take it out and drive it. I haven't driven it yet. It's got a lot of different hop-ups on it. I kind of want to get a stock one too, so we can see what it's like right out of the box. Here it is, the SCX6. Not very many shops have this yet, but they have one here, exact color. Mine's not this clean anymore, obviously, but I mean there, next to a 5T, that's how big it is. It's it's massive. We got more cars. Let's go Let's just go down the line and check out cars here. Oh, these are consignment cars. We got a Haas on consignment. Got a little mini summon on consignment. Here is the Ford Raptor Baja Ray 2.0, I believe. I don't know if they make them 2.0. I think it's just they call it the Baja Ray. There's the Bronco. Interesting thing about the Bronco is it looks like it's a shorter wheelbase because of the body style. It's actually not a shorter wheelbase. It's like the normal, the normal wheelbase. Uh, I always thought that was interesting because it did seem like just seeing it out on the on the trail, it did seem like it was a shorter wheelbase. But I believe it might even be the same wheelbase as this Rubicon here. Um, but this Rubicon is longer. This is a longer one. But I think if I got an Axial SCX-10, I think I would get that one, the super long one. There's the Rift. SCX, little mini rock crawler. Drum on a back, back one. I've heard some really good things about those. And then the low C minis. Oh, look, here it is. The Maroon, I like the Maroon, Drag Slash. Oh, God, look at these. These, uh, the hot rods, so sick. The Bronco. Looks so good. TRX4 Sport Max. The UDR. Let's go around this side. Oh, look. Desert Buggy XL8. Dang, they got three of them here. Pretty freaking good. There's the X Max. The E Revo. Oh, excuse me, sir. Sorry. Got the slashes here. Haas. All the stuff you've seen, but we'll go through them anyways. Just because it's fun. 
my boy Greg over here thinking about getting one of these felonies infractions. He knows he wants one. <laughs> Those are super cool. There's the, uh, God, what do they call that thing? Yeah, I totally forgot. It's the uh, it's the big rock. I can't believe I forgot that. We've actually seen those driving out at uh, that one backyard track. Remember they were doing backflips? Those are pretty cool. Creighton. Oh, look, I haven't seen one of these. Look at how low profile this truck is. This is Italian. It's like a high speed monster truck. But look at that. Look how sleek that is. That looks pretty cool. There's the Outcast. I believe this is Outcast either 4S or 6S. And then the Creighton 8S, this thing's a beast, right next to the desert. Desert buggy. Super cool. And then your beginner, not beginner, but entry level Armas here. Typhons, Vortex, I wouldn't consider that one really entry level, that's a beast. Um, but all these other ones, some of them for your, for your newer drivers, your newer enthusiasts is what we would say. Still super cool. People want me to get one of these, I don't have one. Yo guys, we got a late arrival to the uh, swap meet here. Look, savages. I haven't seen a savage at a swap meet for who knows how long. They did just re-release a savage. I am talking to HP. I hope I can get one soon. Hopefully I can get one of the early release ones. That would be cool, but nothing official yet. Looks like we got a nitro on-road car. But yeah, the thing about savages, they're cool, but my problem is, is if I break it, part sport's gonna be rough. And then we got some T-Maxes down here. Oh, guys, there's some cool, there's some good T-Maxes at these swap meets. I feel like T-Maxes are always a car that you can get at a really good deal online, secondhand, because there's so many of them out on the market, and there's so many different secondhand hop-ups you can get for them. I feel like if you want a good starter truck or something to build, a nitro truck, a T-Max is the way to go, but I, I just don't, I don't think I can jump into a T-Max at the moment, even though there's some good deals on T-Maxes here, but cool cars. All right, guys, we're, we're closing up. I'm pack I got all my stuff packed up already. I'm going to show you my scores. I got some good stuff. I didn't get a car, but I did get some good stuff. Show you what I got and what I paid for. All right, so the first thing I got is I got... <laughs> yeah, first thing I got are these two things. Uh, these are little Tamai cars. I, I don't know anything about them, um, but they were cheap. I paid $5 each for them. They look really cool. That one looks really cool. Maybe it's worth more than that. I have no clue. I didn't even look up how much it cost. And then I got this stuff over here, some some nit nitro stuff, guys. I told you I was gonna be doing nitro soon. This is a brand new in box, Traxxas 3.3 engine. Looks like we got a starter, a couple of pipes. These pipes are not cheap also. Some uh, gaskets and couplers and exhaust deflectors, things like that. And then uh, a header. I got all this stuff I traded for a J Concepts Fox body that I got in the storage unit, which is pretty freaking cool. And then I got this beautiful, beautiful beautiful car i needed I, I i lied i said i didn't get a car i did get this car and uh this thing is freaking beautiful this is the see it jalande the rc four-wheel drive jalande i think that's how you pronounce it jalande the 18 scale rtr this is like a, a hard body it's a beautiful beautiful little car and it's brand new i think they retail for about 220 a uh, good friend of mine, Michael, he saw me. He's like, hey, I got something for you. I came over there and he goes this right here. I'll sell it to you cheap. I said, what's cheap? 50 bucks, guys. I got this for 50 bucks. Beautiful, beautiful mini crawler, 50 bucks. I'm going to, and it's brand new. Uh, never ran. So we're going to find out what this thing's all about. But yeah, those are my scores. I sold a few things. I didn't sell a lot, but you know how it is. Oh, I got some free stuff too. Um, the wheels i wanted the new color i asked them for these colors or this color i think i asked him for another color but i think this is the color i really want i wanted like a baby blue this matches my crawler and we're trying to get it to match the eye and the tqi radio and then a gentleman that is a big follower i believe he's a patreon also he found me he said he had some old revo parts he didn't need anymore so i got a revo body and some let's see is this a revo platinum body oh it's an e revo body nice and then some just extra parts look i got a a crankshaft very very nice so got some stuff here and then someone gave me this stuff for the slashes that i plan on letting people drive to try out some just slash tires things like that really nice and then bill gave me a summit body he saw that i just bought a summit recently and he says here you go a beater summit body so i got some scores not bad had a lot of fun i did talk to the owner and we are going to try to do this quarterly so I will post on the MSM drivers meeting page when we do these swap meets. Everything's kind of breaking down now, but I will let you guys know 
when I come back out here. We had so much fun. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I scored this too. This is the long arm kit. This is brand new, brand new, sealed in the box. $174 retail, I got it for 40 bucks. I've been wanting to do this because what I want to do is I want to do a TRX-4 that sits like a normal TRX-4 but it has more shock travel and this is the way to go, I think. I don't know, I've, always, I've wanted one of these though and we have one now and I got it for 40 bucks. Another huge score. Oh man, well that's a wrap. That was a lot of swap meeting. It was a lot of fun though and a lot of stuff. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you liked the video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later guys.